side. There the big don't argue. Get off me, he says. We are the tarmac. It's takeoff time. Media Vintage Sports Network presents Play by Play podcast with Jordan Hughes. Good afternoon and welcome. NRL Picks and Preview back with you for around 26. Jordan Hughes alongside. <laughs> King! That's a new like theme song, is it? Or? Yeah, yeah okay. it is what it is. You well? Me, Jordy, fantastic. It's good, mate. How are you? I'm good, mate. Summer's here. They're heating up. The GC's... Do I have a tan? Yeah, you look very bronzed. Thank you. you I was running this morning. Oh, really? A bit sun-kissed. Yeah, right. Long hedges, mate. Doing your thing. Oh, you know how it is? Actually, yes. Yeah, I know yeah. you're doing. Lovely, mate. Nice. Um, let's talk about some NRL Round 25. Plenty of good footy last weekend. What caught your eye? Most impressive was mm-hmm. the top teams making statements. Yes. So the dogs form against Warriors. They mm-hmm. kept it going. Storm destroying oh. the Dolphins, 42-6 or something. Wild. Roosters destroying the Titans. Mm-hmm. And then the Sharks over the Dragons. Yeah, doing what they need to do. Yes, sir. The top teams delivered. And how about you? I um, I guess this was bad for our picks, but I was happy to see the Raiders win. No, that was disgusting. I know, not good for the betting, but um, yeah. Yeah. interception to win, it was good vibes. Um, yeah. But how about can we discuss fucking Manly? Speaking of top teams not Man- winning, though. Oh, my gosh. So Manly were winning 16 nil against the Tigers. Mm. I picked the first three try scorers. Mm-hmm. Bet was pretty much paid off. Yeah. You text me, you're like, oh, we're on here. Yeah, we're on here. And then they got three yellow cards in a row. And some of them were the stupidest scores I've ever seen. And they lost to the Tigers. Yeah, absolute punish. What? What is that? I Tommy Turbo de- delivered, he's the of man. course. He's the man. But what the hell? Yeah, I know. Crazy. Uh, anything else disappointed you? Oh, yeah, the disappointments was Manly. Yep, up. Yep. And then the Pan- Panthers, by Raiders. Yeah, same. Do you reckon they can, I don't reckon they can win the Colton Vat Cleary. Do you think they can? No, I don't think so either. Yeah, they're just missing... I'm riding Melbourne. Who yeah. are you riding? Um, I want to see Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne would be good. The Bulldogs. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm riding Melbourne. I don't mind seeing the doggies get in there. Um, nice. The tipping front, you went six from eight last week. I went five from eight. So good shift from you, brother. Solid. Um, what I was going to ask you was, footy for you. Are you playing still? Yeah, so we had finals on the weekend against Runaway Bay. How'd we go? Yeah, we beat them. So good. we knocked them out. Um, so we've got two more finals before grand finals. So they're must win. So... Take on Corumbin this Saturday, 3 p.m. at Corumbin. Okay. Um, I'm dialed in. Dialed in. You look fucking yeah, locked in. Yeah, I'm charged. You're training hard. It's getting... finals time, bro. Yeah. So we it's, change it up a year. That's where the king stands I'll tall. I'll see you eh? there. Uh, you know I'll be on the tools, mate. Oh, no. mm. weekly. But maybe, actually, I might be available for a grand final appearance if you make it through. Nice. That would, I'll hold you to that. that could be I good. need new friends that want to support me. Geordie mate, it's not I supporting. S- I support you for the last three years. Um, all right, let's get into NRL round 26, get into the crunch time of the season. The Cowboys taking on the Melbourne Storm. $1.24 are the Cowboys. The Storm, $4.10. The Lions, 12 and a half. Obviously, wholesale changes for the Storm. Minor premiers always locked up. They're sort of in cruise control at the moment. I really like how you said wholesale, wholesale changes. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's great. <laughs> um, yeah, well, these last two games are so important for the NRL because there's a few teams fighting for that top eight spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just like you said, Storm has arrested half their players for being, uh, you know, the best. Yep. Um, so we're looking at Cowboys there, slipped into good form. Mm. Uh, Jake Clifford's come into the side and he's been playing mad in cup, I've heard, mm. and he's just been delivering for the Cowboys. So I'd look out for Clifford for maybe a try, okay. maybe Nanai outside of him. One of those two will go through. Um, and Valentine Holmes, he's just on fire at the moment. So I'd look out for him as well. With the Storm, they've just opted to rest their squad. So there's not much going on. It's hard to pick. You just have to pick when they do this. Yeah, but I'll be going with... Um, I think they're still going to fight. Uh, I'll be going for a good game from the Cowboys to get the win. Mm. And just mm-hmm. a quick shout out to Tristan Powell. Um, he's on the bench for Storm. Okay. Um, yeah, Burley Boy. Burley Boy. Played it. with him. Yeah, so... Nice. Uh, what what posse? He's in the forwards. Forwards, okay. Yeah, nice. He's a weapon. Work off. Well, good luck. Tristan, you said? Yes, Trudeau. Young Trudeau. Good luck, mate. Go do what you do. Um, so a couple of stats for you. The Cowboys have covered the last seven versus Melbourne. The Cowboys have won the last five versus teams in the top eight. Four or five between these two have gone over the total points. Uh, Ryan Papp has scored a try in his last six of seven games in Queensland. And Kyle Felt has scored a try in his last seven of eight. Oh, Felty. So yeah. that's where you'll be going. I'm going to go Felty. I'll go Pat for a try. And I'll go Cowboys. Do good against that weekend. Very nice. Team. We're both on the Cowboys. Yeah, up in Townsville as well. He's also, you see um, Grant Anderson at seven? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a that's change. Kind of rogue, isn't it? He's a winger. What's going on there? Don't know. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see how he yeah, goes. Yeah, so who knows what Bellamy's hmm. on. Uh, this one should be an absolute crack as well, though. The Bulldogs taking on the Manly Seagulls. $1.57, the dog. $2.40. Uh, Manly, the line is four and a half. The dogs looking real hot, mate. Absolutely. This is my game of the week. Mm-hmm. You know, dogs have been absolutely clinical. Yep. They're, they haven't even let us down at all. So, sorry, so they haven't locked in the top four yet, eh? They're, is top four guaranteed? 
I don't think I'm it is. I'm not sure at the moment. They're, they're right on the cast. Yeah, they're sure. right there. They're yeah. right on the cast. I think they're fifth. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so they're fighting for a top four. The only out they've got is their captain, Stephen Crichton. Mm. That's a big, big loss. One. Yeah. He was huge. He was dominant last, last is that week. Is that the Apple? No idea. Okay. I better get up to that in my research. Yeah, you're nice. But yeah, the dogs were in flying form. I think they're solid. And they're up against a dominating Manly. Manly have been dominating until last week. Mm. You know, they've got little slip ups everywhere. Um, I do like the consistency of the dogs. You've got plenty of try scorers there. I think Bronson Cherry, he's been scoring every week. So, sorry, he scored in the last six or seven games. There Carlson. you go. So I'll yeah. be back in um, Cherry to get a try there. Um, and obviously, I'm going with Tommy to score. And S- scored in his last six versus the dogs. There you go. And at the bat, uh, far left side, there's Hopawati. So I'll go Hopawati for a try as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going with a, this is going to be a close game, yep. close fight. Um, I have leaned with dogs at home. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the dogs have won the last 10 home games. Uh, the last five home games, though, have gone under the total points. Um, I like, yeah, as you said, Turbo and Cherry for tries. But I do like Manly here to bounce back post yep. that loss. Embarrassment Solid. at home, looking for a response here. I'll go Manly to win. In Ooh, a close nice. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so on the fence, it's... It's much much. much yeah. So nice. you, you got Dogs 1-12? Yeah, I've got Dogs 1-12. Okay, lovely. Uh, let's go to the Panthers, $1.14. The Rabbitohs, $5.75. The line is 17 and a half. Both sides trying to find wins after losses last week. The Panthers normally respond pretty well after a loss. Yeah, too. I'm looking at a big Penrith uh, hit back here. Mm. You've got a full squad there, full start inside. I, I do like their starting squad. Um, I'm looking at Toto and Turanova out wide to get some points. Yep. Um, and I've written the written the Rabbitohs off. I think they're shit house. Let's give it up. Yeah. So I'll be back in the Penrith with a 13 plus here. Big Panthers one. have won the last 10 at home following a loss. Um, they have failed to cover the, their last five games in Sydney. Nine of 10 Panthers games have been decided by 10 or less. Um, Isaac Tago has scored a try in his last three home games versus the Rabbits. Solid. So I like Tago for a try. Yep. And I like Panthers bounce back. What's the line? 17 and a half. A lot of points. Yeah, that's a tough one to but cover. The Bunnies aren't that good. But yeah, the pe- Bunnies. Are so bad. So bad. Yeah. Uh, Panthers do good for us. And then plenty of try scorers there for you. Let's go to the Eels and the Dragons. $2.20 the Eels. $1.67 are uh, the Dragons. The line is two and a half. The Eels are way down the bottom. Yes, well, this is a big matchup for Dragons, actually. Mm. So they can pretty much seal their top eight spot, I'm pretty sure, with a win here. Yep. Um, at first glance, I was going with the Eels at home over Dragons. But because of how high the stakes are, I think Ben Hunt has to stand up. And if he does stand up, he's going to find Lomax for a try out wide. So I'll be leaving with the Dragons here. Um, but I do think it's going to be a close one. I did yep. like Eels line up over the Dragons. But I just think that the stakes are too high. Yeah, I do like the over in this too. Plenty of points. Uh, last three power games have gone over the total points. The Dragons also covered the last nine games following a loss. So I'll go Dragons to win, Dragons to cover. And yeah, the Eels have lost the last nine of ten. They're oh, have they? Struggling. That's there. awful. Yeah, not good. So yeah, Dragons. Not winning game. No, nah, Dragons too good. And I like Sloan for a try as well. Nice. Uh, now this one is an absolute huge game for both parties. The Queensland Derby. The Dolphins taking on the Broncos. $2.90 the Dolphins. $1.42 the Bronx. The line is seven and a half. This one's at Suncorp Stadium. Both sides fighting for final spots. Yes, sir. Both are on that same cuff, mm-hmm. so it's a win-win for either team here. Uh, the Dolphins have been dropping off. Players have been dropping off. Their bench is actually pretty awful. They've got um, Teague, Keeley, uh, Tessie, and Donghu. None of them are forwards. They're all like you know weird positions, either hooker Utility, yeah. or centre. Um, I just think that's awful. Uh, they're coming up against Broncos, who are finally finding some form with uh, Josh Rogers. Yep. Uh, ex Burley boy too. Yep. Um, so he's been. He, he actually scored. a good try last week. Yeah, he did. Try. He did. So I'm looking out for the Broncos to get a win here. I think look out for Rogers maybe another try mm-hmm. and Cobo out wide. Okay. Um, so the Broncos have actually failed to cover the last eight at Suncorp Stadium and last four Brisbane games have gone over the total points. If it's a dry track, which it should be, I get yep. a bit of a shootout. Plenty of points. Yeah, shootout for sure. Um, I will go Dolphins plus the seven and a half. They were embarrassed last week. I reckon they will respond. Wayne Bennett sized. Normally don't dish up that two weeks in a row. Mm. Um, mm, worth a sprinkle on the Dolphins to win? Because the Broncos, is, I just don't trust them. Yeah, well, it's, it's always a competitive match because mm. they're the same players from the same club, yeah. you know? I actually reckon it's 1-12 either way. Yeah. But you're going Bronx? I'm going Bronx. I'll go Dolphins then. We'll lock it up at 1-12. I'll go Bronx. You go Dolphins 1-12. Yeah. I, reckon, I reckon Dolphins maybe just sneak home there. Boss yep. Doc for a try as well. He's, he's my guy. Yeah, my, I think Farnworth is the danger man. Yeah. He's an ex-Bronco and he's absolutely True. phenomenal. So I'll look out for Farnworth. Yeah, good chat. Uh, let's go to the Sharkies. Take you on the Warriors. It's all 18, the Sharks. The Warriors, $5. The line is 14 and a half. Obviously, New Zealand, they've lost their last eight of nine away games. They've covered, failed to cover the last four night games. They were you know, pretty average last week again against the Dogs. And now they go to the Fortress at Cronulla. 
Yes. Well, look at the way the Sharks have been playing since they mm. lost Nico. They've just been on a rampant. Yeah. So they've been so consistent, and I've actually enjoyed their footy. Mm-hmm. Um, they're proving to be they are top four, and they're proving to be in that top contenders. Four. Yeah. Yeah. So I've really enjoyed them. Um, yeah, they've been diabolical. So look out for Iro out the left centre. He's yes. been scoring and Stone Street. I think he plays. Yeah, he's finding some good meat. He Stone is, Street. Eh? Yeah. Quite a few. Hopefully they play him on the left <coughs> again. He'll probably get another try out there. So I've got Iro and Stone Street to score. If you look at the other team, it's. The Warriors, they've got Tane to a piggyback, a fullback. Mm-hmm. That's my guy, another burly boy. Yep. So he's at fullback. Chance has moved to the center, which is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they have a decent lineup. But the two that I'd be watching out for is Johnson and Metcalf. You know, it's Johnson's second last game. Yep. But the thing about those two is that's their old club. Mm. So they're ex Sharky. So they could really turn it up True. against the Sharks. Good chat. So interesting from them. But I just think the new breed of the Sharks, they're just too good to yeah. get it done. Yeah, I think that the Sharks at home is just a massive factor. Uh, yeah, Cronulla too good for me. I, I, or Johnny, I like Stone Street for, for a try and nice. uh, Kennedy as well. Oh, Kennedy, solid. Yeah, finds a way through. Um, yeah, that slow, that sloppy Warriors defense. Yeah, it's not good. Um, 14 and a half is the line. What, what do you sit on that? Blowout or do you reckon Warriors It's honestly up tough? to Sean Johnson and Metcalf. You mm. know, do they come up and play or do they not play? Do you know what? I'll give the fourteen and a half to the Warriors. Okay, I'll go the Sharks. I can <laughs> not dish them up. Yeah, they should. Yeah, uh, let's get to the Knights and the Titans. Dollar thirty-five. The Knights three dollars thirty are the Titans. The line is nine and a half. Um, did you go to that game last week? I went to the game. How was it? It was hot. It was hot. I had my shirt off. It was tanning. Yeah. That's where I'm a bit tanned. Yeah, okay. Um, it was a great game. Plenty of points, as we said. Plenty of points. Young Loffy. Yep, he's my, yep. unreal. Another burly kid. Yep, another burly he kid. He running around Dom Dom Young. That was fantastic. So, sick vibes too. Yeah, okay. And the women dished up the Roosters too before. I was actually there too, yeah. Lozzie Brown destroying it, yeah. eh? Mate, their team's unreal. Bit of girl biff going on too. Bit of too. fighting, yeah. Oh, chill, girls. Yeah. Jeez. See, some of those Roosters girls, they foul. Like, yeah. Where they'll carry on. Yeah, it was actually so... Actually, I remember it being so hot. I was sitting in the crowd going, this is so hot. They like, were playing in Because there was like 11 a.m. kickoff or 12 a.m. kickoff. Yeah, it was tough. No good. It was tough sitting there. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, so, on this game, the Knights have won the last six home games versus the Gold Coast. Obviously, as we said, GC have lost the last three by 13+. plus. Um, but the last four between these two have gone over the total points. So, generally, Ooh, love to attack. Good hit out. Yes. I think we're looking at a good hit out here. Mm. I like Sharp at the right edge. He has so much speed, he'll yeah. be scoring. Yes. Um, and look out for Gagai. Gagai's in form. He's either got a flick ball to where Sharp's going to score or Gagai will score. Um, and look out for Ponga. He's just got the ball skills to get the job done. Even He might even hit Marju at the other edge. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you look at the other side, there's plenty of pace for the Titans. If it's another hot day, they've got so much wheels. You know, Keno out back, Loffy. Yep. Um, but I'm looking at um, Jaden Campbell. I think he's going to get a uh, try against the Knights okay. this week. Uh, Picks-wise, who do you lean to win? Nah, I've got the Knights. Knights too good. Knights too good. High scoring. Yeah. Look out for Ponga, Sharp and Marju. Yeah, I'll join you on that. I'll take the over. I'll go Titans plus nine and a half. To keep it somewhat close, but nice to win for me. Yeah, so um, yes, too good. Or do you think um, on the Titans? Do you think Kenny's going to be their main man, fullback moving forward? He's impressive. He's going good. Eh? He's impressive. He's getting two hundred and thirty meters per game. Yeah, um, it's tough for them because you know they've got him, Campbell, AJ. I know. Yeah. Um, but at the moment he's in the right spot, so keep him there. Yeah, hundred percent. Adds some good good firepower. Uh, let's go to the Roosters and the Raiders to finish off round twenty six. Roosters dollar sixteen. The Raiders off that win five dollars forty. The Lions fifteen and a half. This game is played in Sydney. Did you say five dollars forty? Yes, sir. That's how it should be because the Roosters they have a monster team, mm-hmm. monster squad, and a monster bench. They're just full of monsters right now. I like the way they've been playing. Look at um, Dom Young to score. He's yes. outside of Manu. Either you know he'll get a try somewhere. Tupo's been an absolute lock at the left edge. And Crichton got a triple last week. Let's yeah. back him in for another one. Yes. Um, and the the Raiders actually have a solid team, and they are fighting for that top eight spot as mm. well. Um, but I don't know what if they whatever they throw at them. I just think the Roosters are absolutely too good. Too good. Yeah. Uh, the Raiders have covered the last four versus Sydney in Sydney. Um, seven of eight Canberra games have gone under the total points. I do think it'll be a grind early, but then I think the Roosters should yeah. be too good towards the end. Grind at the start, yeah, and then Roosters kicking the gear. Roosters kicking the gear. Once they kick in the gear, it's crazy. Yeah, you can't stop them. Like, like yeah, I saw last them. week. Um, yeah. yeah, Roosters too good for me. They get it done, and yeah, you can't go past Dommy Young and Crichton for tries. Beautiful. I like it. We're on to round out round twenty six. So our only splits are: you've gone, Dol- I've gone Dolphins, you've gone Broncos, I've gone Manly, you've gone Bulldogs. Ooh. The rest we agree yes, on. Yes, sir. Love it. Very All nice. Right, let's see how it plans out. Um, NRLW, round six as well. I, um, I haven't been doing my women's study. What's going on, mate? Slipping. Yes, I'm slipping. Um, we mentioned before that 
the Roosters Titans game was an epic encounter. Let's run through some games this week. The Titans and the Sharks, which are really, really good to watch. Sharks undefeated so far. They're undefeated. Yep. Playing in good form too. Ran yep. the buyers out there against the Titans. Their first try, I think. Yes. And the Titans. I'm just. Are they at Titans as well? Uh, I don't know. Not sure. Do your research. No, no, he is. I think they're at home. Yeah, I'll be back in Titans. <laughs> yep. I'm always going to back them. Yep. Titans. Uh, Eels Dragons. Eels Dragons. Who'd you go? Titans. No oh, Titans. Yeah. Eels Dragons. Uh, let's go the Dragons. Yeah, Dragons are playing good. I go yep. Dragons as well. Uh, Knights Tigers. Knights. Knights for sure. Upton. Mm. Knights. Just the first try last week in the first two minutes, something like that. Beast. Uh, Broncos Cowboys. No, well, you know we like the Bronx. Melly Hufanga. <laughs> Beast. Uh, I'll go Bronx. Yeah, Bronx. Uh, Roosters, Raiders to finish. Roosters. Yeah, they, yeah Roosters. They, they bounce back off a loss. Oh, actually, yeah. Had Raiders here last week. Can't recall. Don't know. Yeah, all right. I'm going with the Roosters. Yeah, I can Roosters too good. Nice. Uh, there we go. That's NRLW round six in the books. And that is us locked and loaded for NRL round 26. Finals footy on the way, my man. Finals footy for me. What about you? Uh, oh, yeah. I hope you might make, make the final. Uh, yeah, really? yeah, I've got grand finals this weekend. Do you? A lot of media stuff. Who's in? A couple of Bond girls. Bond girls looking for three in a row. Is this the grand final? Grand weekend? final. Yeah. What day? Sunday. Good luck, girls. Good luck to the Bondy girls. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, a bit of. What about third grade? Yep, on Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, lads are on. Where's that? Same place, but busy. Good luck. So you'll be up there Saturday, Sunday? Yeah. Good luck to the Bondy 30s. Yep. Bordeaux playing? Yep. Ha <laughs> Bordeaux. Uh, Bernstein all the boys. Bernstein <laughs> all the boys. Give them all a nod Anyway this is, <laughs> this is not the audience for this um, Anyway that is our NRL picks and preview Thank you Regan uh, Throw us out Thank you This is me and Geordie We're at Media Vintage uh, We'll catch you next week Ciao <laughs>